Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. Uh, now I want to upgrade a little bit this rotary table I have. There is a few non very good things here that made. Um, usually when I'm working on it, I need to hold it in some one position and cut something. Uh, to hold the table, it's uh, this screw is made, but this screw is uh, pushing the table itself to one direction and uh, it's lost uh, his position. Um, the, on the bigger tables, <coughs> usually you have uh, something that uh, holding the table to the bottom, like it's like some clamp that are located over here. I want to try to do the same on this table, so I want to make some clamp that will just push table to the bottom. Uh, also, usually when I need to align this uh, chuck, uh, it's uh, super difficult because uh, the screws are under the chuck and I need to find some better way of uh, alignment, all the stuff together. Probably, we'll see. You will see this in this video. How I will resolve both of these problems. I will start with disassembling everything and exactly this screw I need to hold. It's almost impossible to work in this configuration. Now I need to unscrew the check itself. So on that. Here it is. Now I'm screwing the plate, which mounted on the table to hold the chuck. And the idea behind this plate was uh, that there is a fixing point in the middle uh, which is possible to use to align this plate always in the same uh, direction and so this one. Uh, but on the table itself it's not very persistent and uh, actually it's not working so it's, it's playing there. And actually this thing is, uh, has nothing to do, maybe I will cut it at all and then I could move the plate uh, in whatever direction I want and also I will uh, um, change a bit the mounting points of the screws, so upgrade this one, definitely necessary. The next thing I need to do is to remove this screw and as well I will need to remove this one and the table. table is disassembled, I will need to cut here uh, the row on which actually I will clamp the table to the uh, body of the rotor table.
The first step is done. I have a slot here. Um, next one, I will need to make a clamp that will press to this through the slot to the body of um, the rotor table, <coughs> the round table. The best place for clamp is this one and this one. It's possible also to make clamps here or here, uh, but usually when you're working on, with the rotor table, it's uh, mounted like this, and clamp here will be the best possible option. Or over here, when you're working like this, uh, and as well here. Uh, I will do one clamp, and I will do it here, exactly in this place where this clamp and screw was uh, located. Uh, there is several ways how I could do that, so I need to make some post on which this uh, clamp will be mounted to. Um, I will use the same hole, probably. Also, I will need to cut a little bit uh, to have a clean surface here and maybe here. And yeah, so just a piece of metal mounted here. And then clamp from top to this piece. Let's go with a bit of milling. Cut it and plate that will be mounted here. Next thing I need to do is to mount this one piece here. Um, should be quite easy, but I need to take into account that uh, I will need a hole from here, somewhere in the middle, I would say in the middle, uh, with which one I will mount the clamp. Um, not too much space here, so it's uh, 19 millimeter height. Um, on the very bottom, I will make a hole for the screw, and on top, I will make two uh, pins with which I will try to align this, or probably one pin. Mm, we'll see, I think even one or one in the bindle, uh, because here is the old hole for the uh, clamping. So, anyway. A bit of alignment. I will need to hold it like this to drill the holes and drill the holes in the plate itself. Now we're assembling all this together. Uh, 
and composer doesn't like how it fits but that's what we have I will make a clamp out of this piece of steel. And here it is. It's a final assembly and test how it will work. I bet it should work very fine, <laughs> much better than uh, with the initial screw than it was on the side of the rotor table. It looks very nice. Now I can rotate it and now I will clamp it. And now it's completely fixed. That will be it for this video. Next time I will try to do something with this chuck and mountain plate that I could align it easily, more easy than it's now. So like uh, bigger holes uh, and some more easy mount to the table that I could screw from here. I don't know. I'll try to do something. <clears throat> Uh, I was already tried to do mount like this, so I have the insert that's screwing down to the table and to the chuck. Uh, but unfortunately it's not uh, as accurate as I want, so uh, the play of the chuck at the end near 5000, so I want to do a better result. So this one is possible to use when I need to mount the chuck not super accurate and uh, fast. And I know that uh, I will work in one installation, but I need something better than this one. So, that's it. See you next time and Happy New Year!